What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, you guys are going to love today's tutorial because I'm going to show you how to create a flashing title sequence inspired by Rust. Before I begin, if you guys are interested in the music that I used in today's video, I'm going to show you where you guys can get that. All right, everyone, so I downloaded the music from Epidemic Sound. So this video is not sponsored, but it is an affiliate link. So if you guys do end up trying out any of the music in this video, um, I do earn a commission. So just letting you guys know that, but you guys are also helping out the channel. So in a way, I wanna say thank you guys if you do use my link down in the description. So this is the artist that I've downloaded the song from. It's from underscore 91 Nova. Mercurius, I think, is the album. I will have the link down in the description. They have so many tracks, it's actually crazy. Um, and I'll show you that in just a second. So this is just from this album. So if you're into trap or anything related to trap music or hip hop, and you like that kind of beat that I used in the video, be sure to visit this album. It's absolutely amazing. I really suggest it. So what you want to do is visit the link down in the description. And once you do, you guys can get a uh, free trial, a 30 day free trial to try out any music, not just hip hop, but other music as well for you know, vlogs or music videos, whatever they, whatever the content may be, you can use this music and you guys won't get a copyright strike like you would if you were to just look up, you know, music on YouTube, which isn't probably the best way of going about finding music. So you guys can try out the personal plan, which is of course, as you read here, cleared for YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, and podcasts. So here you can explore music as well as sound effects for your uh, content. So this one here is a little bit targeted more for content creators. So if I go down here, you will see that you have over 32,000 tracks, 60,000 different uh, sound effects. Um, it's unlimited download and use. All rights are covered, so you're safe. You can monetize your videos with this and you guys can cancel at any time. And also there is three different subscriptions that you guys can try. You have the personal, which is you know targeted a bit more for content creators. Now, if you guys go for the commercial, this one's a little bit more for different projects, I suppose, and different platforms. I always suggest the commercial plan um, and it is 50 a month, but uh, you guys get like I said, all of this here on any of these. So just try it out. If you guys don't like it, you guys can cancel at any time, but that's that. Let's jump back into the video. Alrighty guys, so this is the original music video here. Again, I'll have the original link down in the description. I just cut a little snippet of that about literally a second long. All right, so the music that I use from Epidemic Sound is called Planetarium uh, from Epidemic Sound. Again, it's from the same artist, underscore 91 Nova. Drag it into the timeline and well, I'm gonna zoom out here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, so I'm going to trim this to where the beat starts, which is roughly about here. And you can kind of tell because there's spikes. So we're gonna drag this to the beginning. We're gonna zoom in here and we're gonna take a listen. And what we're pretty much doing is we're just adding titles to the, I'm not too sure with music, but I think it's called an 808. You're gonna see here that there's spikes in the um, in the waveform in for the audio track. And that's what we really wanna focus on. So I'm gonna push play again. And that looks fine. So once you're there, what you want to do is go into the title and go into the titles. Again, no plugins are required. So we're gonna go into the, I think it's called a basic title. And this is already built in into Final Cut. So you can just drag into the uh, timeline, uh, just trim this by pressing B and clicking on it or press Command B and that will trim it. Now I'm gonna go into the Inspector tab. I'm gonna go into the title here and adjust what the uh, text says. So in this case, I'm just gonna type in Russ and I'm gonna increase the size quite a bit here. I'm going to change the font to a font called Universe, but you can use whatever font you want. What I'm gonna do is uncheck the face because we don't actually want that. We want to enable outline. So have this checked and disable face. So this way it creates, no matter what font you have selected, you will have an outline with a color selected. In this case, you can do whatever color you think you uh, want to use or what looks best. So I'm gonna go into right here and just go and select white. And I'm gonna increase the width, which is the thickness of the lines. And then the blur, which is honestly a really cool feature that Final Cut Pro has. I'm gonna increase the blur on this for the outline to maybe 
four as well. Uh, maybe maybe two would work. So now we have this going on. It's a still text, right? Nothing actually interesting is going on yet. So what we're gonna do is gonna go into the effects and we're gonna go into the blur and we're gonna find the font, not the font, but the effect called zoom. And we're gonna drag that onto our title. And now as you can see, this creates a blur effect. And I'm just spacing up the from the original clip to make it a little bit more interesting. And here you can also adjust the amount. Now what I've done to the original, and you probably didn't notice, but I actually created a keyframe so that it goes from zero to this effect and back to zero. So if I go into the amount and I create a keyframe and I go around here and maybe I go to the amount and I turn this all the way down. So it's gonna go like this and then it's gonna go back to the original uh, maybe here. So I'm gonna go back to amount and go to full 32. So when I, if I disable the audio and I push play, so it kind of goes in and out as you can see. So I'm gonna zoom in here and I'm going to go and skip every other two frames just because I already know this song. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the beginning here and you're gonna zoom in until you see the individual frames. Press B on the keyboard to bring up the blade tool and I'm gonna cut after two frames. So right here where I'm gonna make a cut, as you can see we have two frames here. All right, and we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna make a cut over here and another one over here. And if you if you can like see, um, I'm probably gonna zoom in so you guys can see, but if you look, there's a little highlight over where you're gonna make that cut. So if you highlight over here, you're gonna make that cut right onto the two frame mark, if that makes sense. So we're just gonna do that really quickly here and just do something like this and you can test it out as well. So what we're gonna do is we want to enable this as the beat happens. So we want the title to be enabled. So if that is enabled, the other one has to be deleted. So we're gonna delete that one and we're gonna delete the beginning one. And now we have to follow that same sequence and that's why I named, I named the title uh, sequence uh, effect because it has to be the same because if you mess one up or there's just like if it's like this that can actually mess up the sequence and the effect and it will not look good so make sure that it's actually the same throughout and I'm just gonna keep doing the same thing but we're gonna take a listen before we keep um, you know working on this so I'm gonna push play and you can see that is perfect so if I push play so if we're to, let's say we made a mistake and we didn't catch it, like we made this one a little bit longer than the rest and we push play, you can see that messes up the whole entire sequence. Or if one is too short, uh, like one frame, it's gonna mess, also mess up the sequence. As you can see, it went a little bit too fast. So again, it has to be the same. So we're gonna delete that one. We're gonna make another cut with two frames, not three. As you can see, that's three frames, and that's not what we want. So you might have to zoom in a little bit to make those cuts. Perfect, so now that we have that, we're gonna take another listen. So once you've done that, what we want to do is create a flip-flop effect, in other words. So like one, one frame is flipped somewhere in the middle and go into the inspector tab and go into the transform and go to rotation right here and type in 180, press enter, and now this just, kind of switches up the, the effect a little bit as well. So if I push play, you can do something like that, which looks pretty cool. That's pretty much the effect, it's that simple. It's really not that hard. If you guys found this video helpful at all, please let me know down in the like section. <laughs> Leave a like, subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on a video like this. And I'll catch you on my next video this week. Peace out.